All right, so in this demonstration, I'm going to be showing you how to create an MBOM from a CAD assembly. And we'll also take a look at some of the tools that exist that will help us manage situations uh, where we have multiple revisions of that MBOM and how we can do some change comparisons between those revisions. All right, so I've just jumped into the environment. And if you take a look at the top left corner of the window, uh, you'll see that I've already opened my landing gear assembly, which I'll be using for this demonstration. And it is located within my specification tree under my root PPR context. Now the PPR context element will contain everything from my assembly, my manufacturing bill of materials, my process plan, and my resources, which I've defined for my project. So I currently just have the landing gear assembly contained within it. Um, so the first step I'm going to do is create my MBOM from that CAD assembly. And I'll be doing that quickly by using the uh, Create Update Manufacturing Assembly tool that will generate my MBOM with a one-to-one uh, -one structure as the landing gear CAD assembly. Now this tool helps us automatically bring in all the parts um, that were contained within my CAD and create an item for each one of them within my MBOM. Typically, the MBOM will not be structured the same way as my CAD would be, since the assemblies and sub-assemblies within my CAD uh, may not necessarily be structured in the order the assembly operations would take place, uh, which is what my MBOM would be structured around. Uh, so there would be some reordering that I would generally have to do after this step. But for the sake of simplicity, let's assume that my current MBOM is valid for this first revision. All right, so moving on, I'm going to quickly interrogate my newly created MBOM by expanding my root manufacturing item and just doing a quick visual inspection. Uh, once again, let's just say that the assembly sequence shown are exactly what we want. Uh, so I think I'm now ready to release this MBOM so that my, say, colleagues downstream can now start consuming it uh, in order to do their jobs. So let's quickly do that. Okay, so now that I have released my MBOM, uh, let's say I have been contacted by my customer and they've just informed me that a design change has occurred and that a new part, uh, let's say an actuator, needs to now be included within my MBOM. So just to quickly demonstrate this, let's make some changes within my landing gear assembly and bring in this new part. So I'm gonna go into my assembly design and quickly instantiate a new actuator part. Next, I'll add some quick constraints to correctly position this new part within my assembly. Okay, so now that we've made some changes to my CAD assembly, I now need to update my MBOM. But in order to do this, I'll need to create a revision of that MBOM. So let's do that first. and I'll include this new revision within my PPR context.
All right, so now that I have a new revision, I'm gonna make some updates to it and create a new manufacturing item uh, for the new part that I brought into my CAD assembly. Now there's several assistive tools that I can use to help me develop my new MBOM. Specifically, I'm gonna be using the BI Essentials tool, which I've just opened. And I'm using this to help show me which items from my CAD have currently not been consumed within my MBOM. So if you take a look at the legend within the uh, BI Essentials tools window, uh, you see that anything in orange is not currently included within my BOM. And if I were to look at my specification tree at my CAD product structure, I see the color indicators next to the item names. And we can see the, uh, the new actuator part is currently showing as orange, which indicates that it still needs to be included within my MBOM. So I'm gonna drag and drop this item directly into the new manufacturing item, which I created within my MBOM. And now if you look at the same indicator in the specification tree, uh, you'll notice that you'll notice that it has turned blue, indicating the, that the part has now been consumed by my MBOM. So I think we're good to go at this point. Okay, so now that we've made the necessary updates to our new MBOM, I wanna do a comparison between the, the new revision of this MBOM and the old one. For this, I'm going to be using a different app, uh, actually a widget, uh, which is accessed through the uh, light client or browser as part of my environment. Um, and this widget is called the Novia Compare. And what I'm going to go and do is drag and drop my new MBOM into this window. Notice how the widget is now informing me if I would like to do a compare with a previous revision of this MBOM. So I'm going to select that as that is exactly what I'm trying to do. It's now giving me a side-to-side -side comparison of my two MBOM revisions. Notice the compare status legend at the top of the um, window indicating the color coding schema used within this comparison. So if I were to scroll all the way to the bottom and make the toolbar at the bottom disappear, I see my new actuator manufacturing item that I created being shown on the left and it has a red uh, color for that specific line item. So if I were to scroll all the way to the top, the, uh, the table's legend is indicating that this item or the color code is within the MBOM located exclusively on the left. So it's a new item on the left. So obviously the changes uh, we made were quite simplistic for purposes of this demo, but um, you kind of get a feel for uh, you know, this tool, it's an awesome tool uh, which can help us do such comparisons uh, for more complex MBOMs. Okay, so the last thing I want to show is how to export this compare data out of my environment. And I'm going to do that by going to the bottom toolbar and selecting the CSV tool. So the tool has just generated a CSV file. So the second I select open, I see the same information that was shown in my browser laid out in this Excel sheet, which I can now use to send forward, uh, say in situations where uh, you need to import uh, this data into another tool or share externally from your organization. So lots of really awesome features in these tools to help us effectively work with and manage our MBOMs. Well, that's it for this demonstration. Hope that it was informative and that you enjoyed it. Uh, if you have any questions or items that you would like to inquire about, or even ideas for future demonstrations that you would like to see, uh, would love to hear from you. So feel free to shoot us an email at info at Anyways, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.